In my book, Da Vinci and the 40 Answers, the basics of creativity I got from looking at the experts, Buckminster Fuller, Walt Disney, Da Vinci, and Nobel Prize winners like Kerry Mullis. And what we did is look at what they did on a day-to-day -day basis to remain creative. Those are the basics of creativity, and it's the first half of the book of Da Vinci and the 40 Answers. Again, you can get a free electronic download at slyasafox.com. Another Triz lens is called color or transparency change. Now, one of the easiest things you can do to give your product uplift is to change its color, especially if it's at end of life. If you have a product that's near its end of life, just by changing the color can extend its lifespan one to two years. Color sells, but the right color sells better. You need to look at your product or service through the lens of color, and it can really make a difference in your business. So an example of the taking out lens for Triz is where you take something out of the product or process to make it better. A good example is what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas commercials. If you remember those commercials, the producer specifically takes something out of that commercial so that the viewer can identify with it better. For example, when you have the commercial where the ladies are looking at the cell phone and they're like, oh, you didn't take a picture of that, did you? They don't actually show you what the picture is. That way, all the viewers can identify with it easier. That's an example of the taking out lens. In trees, there's a lens called merging. And what it is, you look at all the available resources that you have around you and see how you can use them to your benefit. And you don't necessarily have to own the resources. Like the Sydney Bridge Climb, the guy that put that together, he doesn't own the bridge, but he put an attraction together where he put the cables and the safety harnesses on the bridge, used the available resources that the town already had, and created an award-winning attraction called the Sydney Bay Bridge Climb. It's another example of Triz in action. A friend of mine is a color consultant, and she's used the lens of color exclusively in her work. Target actually sells 1.3 million clothes hangers a week and they're just plain old clothes hangers. She applied the lens of color to that, came up with six different color schemes to make hangers much more attractive, and they're selling like hotcakes. A very simple concept of looking at a color change on a very benign commodity product. How can you apply that to your business? Another example of the taking out lens is like at Taco Bell or at a fast food restaurant. Remember in the old days, you always had to sign your credit card every time you bought your lunch or a dinner. Well, now they finally got smart and they've taken that signature out of the process, especially in the drive throughs Well, why did they do that? Well, because it speeds up the process, they took something out of the process to make it faster, and then get more customers going through the line. So that's another simple example where restaurants have figured out how to take something out of the process to make more money. Triz in action. Another one of the principles of Triz is skipping. How can you take something out of the process that's just painful? Think of ClearPass in an airport check-in line. It's a new system that they have where you up front get your information and stuff already into the database and therefore you don't have to go through all the security lines. So if somebody has put together a brand new business model based on skipping where they've taken that whole process of standing in line out of the whole check-in process to get on an airplane. Again, that's another example of how Triz has been applied to businesses to really make it work. Another principle of taking out would be frame line magnetism. It's a principle that's used all the time in photography, where you take information out of the picture to make it more interesting. In fact, if you're an amateur photographer, one of the smartest things you can do is move closer to the object and therefore you're taking things out of the frame that make it more interesting. You can apply that same concept when you're writing radio ads or TV ads where you take information out of it to make it more interesting for the viewer. It's just another example of how Triz works in the business environment. In the lens of weight compensation, it's where you take one thing, one product that's not selling very well with one that is and use them to balance each other. The editor of my book, when he was reading that lens, remembered back in high school, he had a car he was trying to sell, but nobody would really come look at it. So nobody really wanted this car. 
but everyone wanted to go out with his sister. So he talked his sister into whoever bought the car would get a first date with her. He got three offers for the car on the same day. That's a unique way to use weight compensation and applying the principles of TRIZ in your own personal life.